No, I am currently um, no longer with HD. Hey guys, even here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates. The first one is, as you can see, about Nick Walker, who also stopped working with the HD Muscle Supplement Company. A lot of you guys sent me this, and you know, usually this wouldn't be such a big deal. I mean, uh, people stop working with supplement companies, contracts, and and so on, but it's interesting that this happened right after... Anton Weyan stopped working with the HD muscle as well. Now, with Anton, it was very weird, that situation, because Anton was part of the HD muscle for a long, long time, and he was personal friends with the CEO of the company, and eventually he got fired, like, fired. He wasn't like, it's not like his contract ended. They just fired him, and I've heard the rumors about why this happened. It was some personal issue he had with... Uh, uh, Dorian Hamilton's brother, Noah Hamilton, and I've heard details about what happened, but I'm not gonna talk about it right here on this channel, it's a little bit too messy, if Anton speaks about this on his channel, I'm gonna make a video about it, but right now I'm gonna stay silent, but it definitely got messy, like really messy, and it's something I don't wanna touch, honestly, so uh, as far as like uh, Anton, he used to be a host of the HD Muscle podcast, and the other members on that podcast were the other guys who were sponsored by the HD Muscle, like Justin Shire, uh, Quinton Araya, and Nick Walker himself. And after Anton was fired, I don't know who was going to run that show, that podcast. Anton was going to start his own. And I was wondering what's going to happen to the podcast. Who's going to be the host now? Is the podcast going to go on without Anton? But now, even without Nick Walker, I doubt that podcast is gonna continue. I don't know yet, but as you can see, Anton is now sponsored by the Jacked Factory. If you don't know about his brand, they're actually pretty big. They're a Canadian brand, I believe, but they used to sponsor uh, Chris Bumstead, and he was paid a lot of money, like crazy amount of money. I heard about some numbers. It was something around 20k a month. So if they could afford Chris Bumstead, they obviously are a pretty big company. Now they're sponsoring Anton. I was wondering, maybe, you know, maybe Anton cut Nick Walker a deal as well. I guess you're going to have to wait to find out. Um, already got something in the works and you guys will find out shortly. So as you guys know, Anton was fired abruptly, like he was planning on doing some charity event, when they fired him, they also cancelled that, but very soon after that, he announced his uh, partnership or his sponsorship by the Jacked uh, Factory, so it was, it was fast, and Nick apparently already made a deal with another company, I don't know which one it is, I have no idea, but apparently he already knows, and we're gonna find out shortly. So I'm wondering, is there a potential connection between Antoine no longer being part of the HD Muscle, and the same thing happening to Nick Walker basically a week later? I don't know if this is a coincidence, but I don't know, maybe it is. But what are the odds of that? I don't know, maybe Nick didn't like the way HD handled this situation with Anton and he decided to get out. And uh, if Nick's next sponsor is not Jack Factory, I'm thinking it maybe could be Raw or Revive. Maybe Matt Jensen and the other guys decided to finally take Nick back. Maybe they cut out a deal because it's been a while since Nick worked with Matt Jensen and maybe they agreed on some things and now he's going to go back to that company, which I believe would make the most sense. I believe Nick is also using some of their supplements because, you know, he's working with uh, Matt Jensen as his coach and I believe he's also training in the Raw or Revive gym, I'm not sure which one, but like there is a lot of connection between him and those companies that company, whatever, so that's also very likely to be the case, whatever you guys think, and do you think, is there a connection between HD Muscle ending Anton's and Nick's contract at the same time, or could this be just a coincidence, whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Alright, next up, we got a physique update from Samson Daura at 9 weeks out of Mr. Olympia, and honestly, what I'm seeing right here, it looks like he is on point with conditioning at this point of the prep. 
Now, I don't want to praise Samson too much. I don't know if he's watching all these YouTube videos, but like if we all praise him for his conditioning being spot on at this point, maybe he's going to get lazy. <laughs> if I was his coach, I'd definitely not praise him because we already saw this kind of conditioning from him like at certain points in prep. And so I'm going to be happy with Samson's conditioning once it is uh, something we haven't seen before from Samson. I mean, there is a possibility that he won't change too much between now and the Mr. Olympia. I mean, of course, he will get more conditioned, but how much? How long will he push it? I think that is an issue with many bodybuilders. At a certain point in prep, they feel like if they continue pushing for conditioning, they're going to lose fullness, they're going to lose muscle, and so they stop. But I don't think that's the case. I don't think he's going to lose muscle. Like At this point in his career, how big he is, he can afford to lose some muscle. So I, I hope he's going to continue pushing because look at this. Like He's, he's conditioning in the hamstrings. It looks, it looks already very good. For nine weeks out, this is really, really good. So I don't see why he couldn't get in shape this year and now that he's working with a different coach i mean he's prepping like with his wife maybe the game plan is going to be different maybe they're going to actually go for crazy conditioning no matter what and maybe we're going to see something completely new from samson dauda and that is exactly what i'm hoping for and what i'm kind of expecting because in my prediction i think i'll have samson again winning the olympic title unless his conditioning uh, keeps looking the same week after week but again at this point this conditioning is looking phenomenal honestly like the glutes the hamstrings and the back itself for nine weeks out this is basically ahead of time in nine weeks he can get like peeled out of his mind if he wants to if he's willing to push crazy for conditioning this year finally if he's willing to do more cardio and so on and I know it's not necessary to mention it because we all know, but if he brings it, who can beat him, really? I mean, Hardy and Derek, I mean, they are they're great, they're big, but they're not much bigger than Samson, and they are much, much shorter. It's all about Samson's conditioning right now, and uh, the guy that could potentially surprise us all and challenge Samson out of this year... You know, it could be Andrew Jacked, and maybe this year we're going to have a shift, a big shift. Maybe we're going to have two big, tall guys like Andrew Jacked and Samson Dauda in that top two call-out. But again, it all depends on what kind of conditioning both of them bring. Andrew needs to be more conditioned in the glutes and the hamstrings and the back, and the same thing goes with Samson. So I believe there is a big possibility, if they nail it, that Samson is going to win the Mr. Olympia and Andrew is going to play second or vice versa. But I believe there is a big chance of these two guys actually being the top two this year. I don't know how likely that is to happen, but it's definitely possible. What do you guys think? Now, we also got a physique update from the back as well from Derek Lunsford. And check out his conditioning. I mean, the guy is known for the most shredded glutes, basically, on that stage, and, like, crazy back, also crazy conditioning in the back, everywhere from behind, but at this point, in nine weeks out, I don't think Samson Dauda is far behind Derek Lunsford. I mean, I don't think Samson can ever have a glute separation like Derek, I think that's genetic, it's not just conditioning, but, or, like, the back development, sure, but as far as, like, the, the, the body fat percent, I think they're very, very comparable. And also, Derek is probably holding more in his front part, in his upper body. So, I think Samson and Derek are basically at the same level right now at 9 weeks out. Hopefully, Samson is going to continue at this pace and be just as conditioned as Derek Lansford. If that happens, I definitely have Samson over the current Mr. Olympia. All right, and finally, at 28 days out of Italy Pro, we got a physique update of Nexilla, Rubio Mosquera, and this was posted on his coach's YouTube channel. As you can see, Francisco Aspin, and he is again working with Rubio. And before that, he started working with Francisco, but apparently the, the Kuwait gym forced him to start working with another coach, their coach. I believe it was Ahmad Askar, based on what Chris Cormier said. But now he's back working with his uh, former coach, and I think he's staying with him in Spain. And he's going to be there, I guess, uh, for, the, for the rest of this uh, prep before the Italy Pro. And this is what Rubio's conditioning is looking like right now. And honestly, I feel like Samson's conditioning is probably better at 9 weeks out than Rubio's at the 4 weeks out. So it doesn't look like his conditioning changed at all. It actually got much worse compared to what it looked like on stage. 
but at some point of this video, Francisco actually says that he's holding a lot of water. So it could be just that. He's just very watery for some reason, and that's why he doesn't look uh, super conditioned. But again, in four weeks, if this is just water here, he can definitely get better. But I'm just not seeing it right now. He is massive, and he is smooth, but I guess it's just a part of the process. I believe that with this coach, who also, by the way, speaks Spanish, and he's a great coach. He coached many, many top bodybuilders, top Olympians as well. I think Rubiel is going to nail it for the Italy Pro. Can he beat Hunter Labrada? I don't know. I don't know. That's definitely a, a stretch. You know, It's not going to be easy after losing to Nathan Bechrus and William Bonek and uh, Hunter, who is top six Olympian. But we'll see. Maybe he's going to surprise us if he brings something ridiculous to the stage. Whatever you guys think, make sure to let me know down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, guys, please stay tuned, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.